Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Maria. Today I have three Dollar Tree Farmhouse Home Decor DIYs. So from Dollar Tree you want to pick up one of these decorative signs, um, some floral, these clip pumpkins, these skulls are from last year. Dollar Tree has some similar ones. Six Jenga blocks. I am removing the plastic with my scissors. I'm only going to paint the top edge. You don't have to paint the inside because you won't be able to see it. Um, I'm using my apple barrel acrylic paint in jet black. I'm using the same paint to paint the Jenga blocks. Uh, I am not painting the whole block. I'm only painting the parts you're gonna see. I'm gluing two together to make three of them. I'm gluing them to the bottom of the sign, one on each end and one in the middle. I'm going to use some of my leftover tool I used in my last DIY. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I did a Halloween wreath. So I cut six strips of this tool and then I tied two together. And I also tied the other ones together and made three. Three little bows or yeah, they look like bows. I after that, I glue one bow to each side and then one in the middle. Using a wire cutter, I'm gonna cut four stems off of this mini mum bush. So all I'm doing is putting them here and there. I did not glue them down. Uh, I don't think they'll fall off, but if you want, you can glue them down. I didn't because later on for Christmas, I can just switch the flowers to Christmas flowers. For the next step, I'm showing you, I'm going to show you some pumpkin picks that Dollar Tree carries. It carries other different things too. I just didn't like the glitter, so I did my own. My skulls used to be purple, and this pumpkin has little brown dots. All I'm doing is painting them white. I'm using my apple barrel acrylic paint in white. For this next step I used a different brush. I dipped it in black paint and splattered the black paint all over the pumpkin and the skull. I painted the stem black because it was brown. So I used one stick for this. Um, I cut it in three and painted it white and glued it to the back of the pumpkin and the skull. I placed the skulls at the end and the pumpkin in the middle. I didn't glue them down. You can leave it like that. Um, I had these ring spiders from last year. I got these at Dollar Tree. All I did is grab some of the black spiders and put them around Using this black ribbon, I got a Dollar Tree. I'm gonna make a bow. I'm going to glue it to the center. From Dollar Tree, you want to pick up this wood house. Um, you can find it in the Halloween section. Since I want everything to match, um, I decided to paint 
the house white. I used my apple barrel acrylic paint in white. Using a different brush and black paint, I'm distressing the house to make it look old. I am dry painting this. Um, Again, I'm gonna use six Jenga blocks. I'm painting them black. Um, I only painted it three because three are gonna be for the front and three for the back. I had this paint stir stick already. I painted it black. Um, Dollar Tree has some rulers you can use instead or you can use more Jenga blocks. Um, I just had this so I used it. Glue the three Jenga blocks that weren't painted to the back and then I'm going to add the house right in front of it so it can stand. Then I'm adding the other Jenga blocks that are painted in black to the front. Using some of the tool I had left still because I still have a lot, um, I just cut some little squares and glued it to the back of the windows. To match the rest of my decor, I got this plated uh, ribbon at Hobby Lobby. Um, they were 50% off, so I paid $2 for it. All I'm doing here is making a bow out of this ribbon. I'm gluing it to the top of the house where the little hole was at. So I decided to uh, freehand the word boo um, using my paint marker. Um, I did some squiggly lines to make it look like blood was dripping. This DIY stickers are from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint one back black. Pom poms are optional. Um, I already have these, so I'm using them. All I'm doing is gluing three down so I can glue the pumpkin on top of it so you don't have to use pom-poms all you have to do is paint the pumpkin orange instead so it doesn't blend in with the, the bottom over to the first project I did and cut one flower off with leaf so I can glue it to the side of the house so I painted one of the ghost white from the DIY stickers and all I'm doing is gluing it to the end I, these spiders, I already had them, so again, I'm going to use one black and one orange and place them wherever. And that's it. For this DIY shadow box, I did, I am going to use a, a home decor sign. This one, I got it back in spring. Um, I'm using it, but Dollar Tree carries similar things to it. Using my white paint, I'm going to paint all the inside white, the sides, and the top white. This next step, I'm using a popsicle stick. I'm going to cut it to the size of the box.
So I'm going to use this ribbon so it can match the rest of the DIYs I made. All I'm doing here is cutting a piece of it so I can glue it to the popsicle stick. I'm going to glue it to the center of the popsicle stick. Then I'm going to glue the popsicle stick to the box. Okay, then I'm gonna use two bats and a piece of string and glue the piece of string to the back of the bat. Then glue the, the string to the box so the bat can hang. I'm going to put the flowers inside the box, um, but I didn't glue them down. Then using my glue gun, I'm going to glue it to the center of the box. Using some of my tool, I cut a piece off and making a bow. I'm removing the spider, but I'm going to put it back after I glued down the bow. And that is it. This completes this Halloween DIY shadow box. So that is it guys, thank you for watching, please subscribe.